Hello and welcome to the workshop where today we're looking at Revolution Train's brand new double O gauge model of Caroline, the Southern Region General Manager's Saloon. So Mike, I've been waiting years for one of these to turn up in ready to run form in double O gauge. And then four come along at once. I know. Because now there's three versions of it come from Revolution Trains for its main stock, and there's one um, exclusive edition for uh, Rainbow Railways as well. So this is a model of the unique Southern Railway General Managed Saloon. It was introduced in 1969 when they rebuilt a class 203 buffet car um, to be used as a general manager saloon. And then it became an inspection coach which could run around the Southern Region network it could be propelled or hauled by a class 73 or a 33, which had matching jumper cables for, and um, for the general manager to go and inspect the railway system. And I believe they also ran on the top of electric multiple units as well. That's right, yeah, actually there are pictures of them running with, well, of this running with the electric multiple units, yeah, that's right. So it's quite a diverse vehicle, really, uh, and then it's been through quite a few modifications over the years. Uh, and the version we've got here on the layout today is the post-2015 version, which is the very latest condition it is in with the extra headlights on the front end. Uh, and most people will probably have seen pictures around on the internet of this being propelled around by a large logo class 37 as well. Um, so with the Fragsnet 33 here, we've not quite got exactly the right combination because the Fragsnet class 33 ran with it in its previous condition, which was a slightly lighter green colour. And that's the version that's been done by Rainbow Railways. And then Revolution Train has also done a version in original BR blue and grey, which is the first livery that it carried in 1969. Uh, and then the Network South East livery that it carried from the, the late 1980s. Now it's led quite a celebrity lifestyle, this vehicle as well, hasn't it? It certainly has. It's had some really quite big occasions in its life. It, it's, it's carried um, royal passengers for a start. Uh, it's also was the first passenger vehicle, I believe, to enter the Channel Tunnel as well. And it now goes around on regular inspection uh, duties with Network Rail. Yeah, that's right, yes. yes. So it's still maintained today, still operational today on the National Network. Um, like I say, quite often seen being propelled around by a Class 37. It's been seen behind or in front of Coalesce Rail ones, large logo ones and a few others as well. Now it really does look smart with the Class 33 sitting here. Talk us through the spec of the new model. Right, so this is a very high specification coach. It's, it's fully detailed on the outside and the inside. Um, all the components underneath are in full relief as well. Um, you've got fully detailed bogies, you've got all the buffer beam parts as well. Uh, now there's actually extra parts coming in an accessory pack as well for you to add to the, well, either one or both of the buffer beams, depending on whether you want to run the tension lock couplings or not. Um, and that gives you the full set of pipes that hang down on the coach now as well. Um, plus then when we start talking about specification, you can't miss out the interior on this mm. as well, because they've done an absolutely fantastic job of the interior. And even now, I'm still noticing other things that I hadn't spotted before. Like there's a little notice on the sidewall inside the corridor um, for, for warning notice and things. So they've really gone to town on the interior detail of this as well. Uh, and then completing that is the lighting capability of this coach as well. So it has fully switchable lighting across both ends in terms of the um, headlights, tail lights, upper marker lights and headco panel light. Um, the interior lights are switchable on and off by changing direction on a DC sound set, which is quite a nice way of adding an extra function as well. Um, and then it's even got um, little um, step lights on it as well. That wow. So yeah. it really has got a comprehensive selection of lighting features on it. So how does it work on DC and DCC? Okay, so you can operate it on DC uh, straight out of the box. And it's got a bank of switches underneath where you can uh, control the functions on it to turn individual lighting features on or off. Uh, and then if you want to go to DCC, then you need a 21 pin chip. Uh, there's a socket inside the roof, so you take the body off. Uh, plug a chip inside the roof and then you have full functioning DCC on it as well. How many functions and what type of decoder do you need? Uh, so it's a six function decoder that's required uh, and we used a DAPL Imperium six function decoder in this coach uh, to make all the lighting functions operate as demonstrated in the video here today. And of course with all the lights you could populate it and you've got yourself a perfect train formation pretty much for any size layout. Yeah that's right and with a long lifespan as well and with lots of different areas I and mean, it's been all over the country now. Um, you know, whilst it started off on the southern region in the BR Blue in the network southeast areas, um, once it went into privatisation, it started to travel far and wide. It's been to the Peak District, it's been the Channel Tunnel, um, it's been all across Derbyshire and Yorkshire and all around the different uh, counties in the UK. So importantly, price and availability. So these are in stock now, although um, stock numbers are quite low. They've been a very popular coach since they came out uh, and they're priced at £159.99, uh, which does seem like quite a lot on face value for a coach, but actually when you look at the specification and what's built into this vehicle, I think it justifies its price. It's a stunning model and I'm really looking forward to seeing mine when I get them out of the boxes as well, which is Absolutely. fantastic. Well, look, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. You can read a full review 
on the model in HM196. That's the October 2023 issue of Hornby Magazine. And of course, find out more on our website at keymodelworld.com. Thank you for watching and bye for now.